but right now I'm, I mean, I'm kind of like running on all cylinders. I'm willing to take on quite a, quite a range of people, but, um, well, you yeah, also I think a lot about it. Wolf pack of one or small yeah. wolf pack, as opposed to having like a New York times behind you or a, a huge organizations with lawyers, with a team, with a history, with these people are less courageous. This is the, this is the dirty truth. The bigger the organization, the more conservative a lot of them are. It, it's true that sometimes they like, and this is not to bash big organizations. I'm just saying this as an observation of someone who's talked to a lot of people. And especially in the world of fraud, a lot of them are scared to engage in fraud that is obvious but hasn't been litigated yet. This is why you'll never see documentaries about ongoing fraud on Netflix. It's too much of a liability. They'll sue Netflix to hell. And they know that if they win, Netflix has the money to pay it. So corporations like the New York Times, you know, a lot of these, some of them are very, like they're as courageous as they can be. But at the bottom line, if someone sues you to hell and back and you have to pay up, you will disappear. And you're relying on liability insurance, which you're already paying out the ass for to try to cover you if you get sued. But if you get sued, even if you win, that liability insurance now goes up in price the next year. And if you're the New York Times, it goes up by a lot. So, I mean, um, I think there's work that independent journalists can do uniquely that they can actually take like in some ways more risk than a giant institution, which has a lot more in my sense to lose, even though it would appear like they have more in terms of defense too. But you get, uh, you can be bullied legally. Yeah. Do you get afraid of that? Sure. I mean, I just... Uh, all these things are things you have to be aware of and then forget to do your job. Like you have to be, you know, it's like, it's like being like a snowboarder and it's like, do you realize you could hit your head? And it's like, yeah, of course. But in order to go do the, like the flip or whatever, you have to just accept the risk, mitigate the risk as much as possible and move on. So we have, um, we have like insurance. We keep like a pool of funds for that kind of thing. Like I'm, I'm very conservative with how I, I spend my money basically all on, production and like trying to make my life as secure as I can. And then I just do the work that I, you know, I, I want to do.